Hey, what's up guys? It's Ace of the Third, and thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, unfortunately, I am sick uh, over the past three days. It just got worse and worse, and it's the kind of sick that affected my voice. So I'm really, really sorry, guys. I know, you know, when you're sick, you can't make the very best of videos, but I'll really try my best, and I hope it doesn't make you guys dislike the video, etc. Um, so I'll try my best to get better as quickly as I possibly can. So anyway, we're going to start off with that question. Today, that question is, what was your most memorable experience in the Safari Zone? I'll tell you about mine. Mine was when I was like eight or nine years old, and I had to use like two packs of zero cell batteries, which like last forever on the Game Boy Advance. And so I had it, and I looked in the Safari Zone, I was looking for a Chansey, because I really wanted a Chansey so badly. And then so what happened was I finally found one, and then it was like one of the third ones I found. So I got the balls to throw a rock at it, and guess what, it didn't run away for like three turns and it was angry. And I kept throwing the Pokeball at it, and then, you know, it kept breaking out of it in like one turn, like little one shake. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So then it stopped being angry, right? And then so I throw a bait at it, and it ran away. So, you know, I guess I, I have no idea. So anyway, if you look right here, you can see my previous upload. Um, this isn't gonna stay for them that long because it's been there for like a million years. So three, two, one, it's gone. So today I'm bringing you guys an awesome double battle. It's pretty cool. Uh, it was against uh, ooh, wow, his name is Yo Mama on uh, Pokemon. So I guess we can just call him Yo Mama, I, I suppose. And it's pretty cool. I mean, so you're gonna see it a little bit. Anyway, so the Pokemon adventures for today are going to be Ludicolo and Moltres. But Ludicolo and Moltres are pretty different, but they have something really synergetic going on, and you're gonna see it in a little bit. And today our star tip is don't underestimate things like you know expect the unexpected that's really what it is i think because there's so many things that can happen but you just might not be aware of it so you know a lot of things are standard and if someone doesn't go standard and counters you then you have nothing to do so anyway basically that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this battle and let's go yeah, guys, I'm sorry for not uploading a lot this week. I know you guys should have had one later on earlier for me, but this week was just so incredibly hard, and I'll tell you my schedule later on for me to narrate. So anyway, he goes with his Rhydon and his Gengar, and I go lead off with my Ludi Cholo and my Smeargo. And so immediately I just go for Fake Out onto the Rhydon because I know how that thingy can just, oh my god, wreck a lot of things because of the Mega Horn. So I just Fake Out that, and he switches out of his Gengar, which is pretty smart because I could have gone for an Endure if he... You know, did things incorrectly, and then you know I would have gotten the boost. So I go for Sunny Day and Ludi Sholo, which is amazing to have. Contrary to it having Rain Dish and Swift Swim, there's also a Pokemon that's a Grass type that has Solar Beam, and it also has Fire Punch and Synthesis. So it's a really amazing thing to have on Ludi Sholo, and it's very synergetic later on. So when he goes into his Blaziken, which is pretty awesome, uh, because Blaziken sprite is really amazing. I really did a good job on that. So I switch out, go into my Moltres and my. Uh, Hit my top because both of these Pokemon can do uh, countering things to these both both of these Pokemon. Moltres uh, has Heat Wave and Hidden Power Electric, which isn't beneficial right now at all. But uh, with the Heat Wave, it'll be doing a lot of damage with the Sun and a Helping Hand that I might have later on. So anyway, going to Hit my top just so I could get that Intimidate off, and it's pretty awesome because they did get it off correctly. But he goes for a Psych Up on his Umbreon, which is pretty amazing. Like I haven't seen that before, but it's a very good combo. And plus with Baton Pass, that could be extremely threatening. So he goes on to his Rhydon again, uh, but pretty unfortunate for me because I don't have anything to stop it really. I just go for a Fly, uh, which is pretty amazing to have on uh, Moltres because one, it has pressure. Two, it's double battles. I mean, come on fly that's a really amazing thing to have that's unpredictability right there so anyway I see that his little thing he goes for in uh, endure which is pretty weird his ways can have that um, because it's Blaziken I mean and it's a double battle so I don't understand exactly what was going on there but he's gonna get the Salic Berry boost and everything and it, it kind of sucks because my hit on top has mock punch just for this thing this reason I was thinking about fake out earlier on but I just wasn't going to do it because I knew I already had one fake out user and fake out was only limited to one turn so there was no really any beneficiality out of it except for one turn out of, uh, of, of flinching. So anyway, he goes into his Gengar and he goes for a skill swap on himself and then gives his Rodent the Levitate ability which is pretty awesome because now he can like go into other Pokemon that might have the ridiculous just oh my god earthquake and it's just gonna do a whole bunch of damage and everything but you know i haven't seen anything like that yet and it's kind of uh because if he wanted to go for an earthquake he can't now because gengar is now uh, not floating so he'll be taking damage from the earthquake and possibly die well it, it will die because of its low defense and uh right on extremely high attack stats so anyway 
go for a sunny day, he breaks my sub and everything. It's pretty awesome because now I have the stun up and now it's going to be doing 1.5 times more damage or, or 50%. And I just switch out into my flag gun at this point right here, which is pretty ugly. And I know that, you know, his little thingy here is just going to try to kill it next this turn. And it's pretty beneficial for me because I just wanted to have the opportunity to go for Hidden Power Ghost on his Gengar. Because it's like he had the opportunity to either switch out to something else or he could just take out one of my Pokemon. So he had a little, like, a trump card kind of thing, I guess. Like, he didn't know what to do, but I guess he made the wrong decision because he's, like, stupid. So, anyway, you know, I'm pink right on. Like, what? Pink! Pink! Anyway. Wow. He takes me out with a nice punch, which is pretty unfortunate, I guess. You know, I really didn't need Flygun that much. But, you know, it got me an opportunity to just kill the Gengar with a Hidden Power Ghost. So now he take, he's taken out, and now Gengar is gone. Which is pretty awesome. So he goes into his shadow, his Umbreon. I'm kind of like, uh, right now because I know that Umbreons have some amazing double battle qualities with them having moves like Baton Pass and Helping Hand and Growl and Tail Whip and just a whole bunch of things. I don't think they have Growl, but they have Tail Whip. Actually, yeah, they do have it. Do they have Growl? Wow. Okay, we put a comment and whether or not Eevee learns Growl, then I'll give you a uh, dollar. So anyway, yep, he switches out, or I switches out into my Ludicolo because I have the Sunny Day up at this point. Uh, I can just start going for moves like either Fire Punch or Solar Beam. He's going to be doing extensive damage to both of his Pokemon due to the stab and max special attack and modest nature. Uh, and we'll be doing a lot of damage. So yeah, you know, Rhino can't really do much right now. And based upon the fact, you know, that his wall is already out here, his Umbreon, he doesn't have many other things to go into. But he goes into his Metagross, and it's kind of like, you know, what's going on here. Because now it's like my grass fire coverage is going to be doing a lot of damage to everything else except Umbreon on his team. Uh, I haven't seen his last thingy yet, but once I do, uh, then I can determine whether or not what I need to do. Because I do have lots of other moves on my other Pokemon that will super affect or do lots of damage to that other Pokemon. So, anyway, yeah, Metagross is in here. There's really nothing he can do. Like, I can just go for a Heat Wave and go for a Solar Beam at the same time on that Pokemon. And it'll be amazing because, um, you know, I'll be able to do damage to whatever comes in. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, his Umbreon, I don't know why exactly, but he went for a Helping Hand on the same turn he switches out, which is completely pointless. I don't know if he has, like, nothing else to do. Like, because I haven't seen any attacking moves on this Umbreon yet. All I've seen is Psych Up and Baton Pass and uh, I, I haven't seen Wish. I've seen Wish and I've seen... Helping hand, like so, he has no moves to attack me, which is very beneficial to know. I don't need to focus on it right now. All thing I need to focus on now is taking out the other Pokemon that's next to uh, Umbreon. And now, you know, he switches out into his Metagross. He dies. It actually doesn't die. He almost dies, but his burn, well, it doesn't really matter because you know, you know, he can't really do anything anymore. So. It's whatever now, so, you know, it's really hard to narrate it right now, like, my voice is cracking and everything, and I feel stupid, like, because my stupid voice and getting sick and everything. I have no idea what happened to me exactly, like, I don't know if it was just these little high school kids touching me or something, I have no idea, but the sickness needs to go away quickly, because if it doesn't, then I won't be able to narrate acceptably because I suck. So anyway, I just touched the Mac. Anyway, go for Heat Wave. Does a lot of damage on everything. Unfortunately, I get the burn on his right on, but it doesn't matter because I'm going for go 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 for a Solar Beam on it right now. Anyway, does a lot of damage. It does approximately a lot of damage. I think it's 720 base power uh, due to factor and everything else. And now he goes to his last Pokemon, which is Shed Inward. So, uh, Shedinja is pretty awesome to have in doubles because, you know, it resists things like the Earthquake and the Surf and a lot of different things like that. Um, if you take out a lot of the Pokemon and another person seems that have like Rock Slide and everything, uh, you can just do a lot of beneficial things with Shiden just seeing as nothing can touch it. But I have Heat Wave, so it's kind of like whatever. So his thing, it goes down immediately and I see why he was saving it. Just so you can see if you can take out my other Pokemon that didn't work out. So anyway, the last Pokemon he has is his Umbreon. White and everything, even though I hate taking out Umbreon because they're amazing, they're my favorite dark types and type in Pokemon in general. I think Umbreon is my favorite Pokemon. I mean, look at it, it's it's so cool. Like, you know, why, why would you not want to own that? Like, you could just go to places, you could go around in public walking around with your Umbreon and be like, dude, I got this Umbreon, it's so cool. So, anyway, yeah, I beat him with like, yo mama, like, pretty awesome and everything because you know, I Umbreon and you know, double synergy and everything. And the fact that Ludicolo has 
sunny day. So if you have the balls, you should try that in under you, not even under you. You can try that in overuse to see how it works out with a sun team or even an Ubers because it might actually do some amazing things there with ground on support. So anyway, yeah, I'll leave that set in the description. So yeah, I finished. This battle was kind of not good because of my sickness, but it's whatever. So I hope you guys liked this battle. Be sure to like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment if you're cool, subscribe if you haven't, favorite if you were fortress, and share if you have the balls. Uh, you know, things have been pretty awesome lately with uh, me and everyone else uh, doing third generation, like Six Foot Hacks did some third gen, Movo19 did some third gen, Hydrajon Master uh, 635 did some, Chris is doing some, Xenon still isn't doing any because he's a pussy, and like everyone else, and like a lot of people are getting interested in third generation now, and I'm so happy because it's like you guys are really just giving this a chance, a lot of people are just pussies and don't give it a chance at all, and they're scared of third gen, and they don't want to try it out, and if it gets too hard, they start doing it and everything, and it's like, dude, you need to calm, you need to relax, because it's not, so anyway, yeah, that's it, so yeah, like I said, do all those other things I told you to do, it, like I asked you to do, and you'd be a pretty cool person. Yeah, once again, like, if you're at all interested in doing third gen, then tell me please. I will help you out. I have a tutorial video that I always, always will put in the beginning of my videos because I have this YouTube feature thing that does that. And if you still need some additional help, then you can help, I can help you out. I mean, I have my contact information in the description at the bottom so you can add me on Skype or message me and I'll just get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, be sure to enjoy other people's videos and everything because you watching other people's videos and liking them and etc is very beneficial to everyone on YouTube and it makes you and it makes you an active supporter and it makes you a pretty awesome person. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks so much for watching again and bye.